Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In one of our previous videos, we talked about the patterns used in sand casting. We also discussed their types and the requirements for a good pattern. If you haven't checked it out, the links are in the description below. Today, we'll study the different materials used for making patterns. As we all know, different materials exhibit different properties. And because of this, the patterns made out of these different materials also exhibit different properties. This is why we need to have a proper understanding of pattern materials in order to determine the suitability of a pattern for the required task. Without any further ado, let's dive into our topic. The materials usually used for the pattern are wood, metal and plastic. However, wood is the most common pattern material. This is because wood is lightweight and is available in abundance. It is cheap and can be easily shaped as per the requirements. Despite having several advantages, wood has one major disadvantage, which deems it unusable for pattern material on numerous occasions. Do you wonder what it is? It is the ability to absorb moisture. Wood easily absorbs moisture, which causes distortions and dimensional inaccuracies in the pattern. To avoid this, proper seasoning and upkeep of wood are required for large-scale production of wood patterns. The most common varieties of wood used in the production of patterns are pine, mahogany, teak, walnut, and deodar. Besides these types of wood, we also employ plywood boards of veneer type for manufacturing patterns. Veneer type plywoods are those which can be glued together to form a different number of piles. The reason behind this is their availability in various thicknesses and higher strength. These plywoods do not require seasoning which makes them suitable for making wood patterns. After discussing wood as pattern material, do you guys think that wood can be used as a pattern material everywhere? Well, the answer is no. During large scale productions, the molding sand is abrasive in nature. This abrasive sand can damage the wood pattern causing dimensional inaccuracies and formations. This is where metals come in as a pattern material. Thanks to their durability and smooth surface finish, metals are widely preferred as pattern material for large-scale casting productions and for closer dimensional tolerances. Although metals such as cast iron and brass can be used, aluminium and white metal are commonly used as pattern materials. This is attributed to their lightweight and resistance to corrosion. They can be easily worked and hence a wide variety of patterns can be obtained using them. Now let's move on to the final material, plastic patterns. Plastics are also used as pattern materials because of their low weight, smooth surface finish, easier formability and durability. Plastics do not absorb moisture and hence there is no fear of deformations. Plastic patterns can be manufactured with the help of molds made of plaster of Paris or sand clay. Epoxy resins are the most popular plastics. This is because of the high possibility of obtaining a plastic material which does not shrink due to change in temperature. Polyurethane is another plastic which finds application as pattern material. This is because it's lightweight and is easily formed into any shape. That's all for today guys. In this video we studied about the different pattern materials. We must note that the choices of pattern materials rely on the casting size, the number of castings to be manufactured and the required dimensional accuracy. In one of our next videos we will discuss pattern allowances and molding sand properties. So stay tuned and stay safe. Until the next one, bye.